Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Jay, I just asked you if Islam is a religion of peace. Well, what about Muhammad? Was he a person of peace, a prophet of peace? Now, we've, we've talked about the Quran, and that's where you have to start with. But then the, the Quran itself needs a model, and the model is Muhammad. You have to look at Muhammad and see what he did. And this is why a lot of your radicals and your more orthodox and your fundamentalists are going back to Muhammad. Because when you look at Muhammad, he was peaceful uh, between 610 and 622 when he was living in Mecca. He had to, because he was a minority. Uh, that's why when you look at the Meccan surahs, which are the last part of the Quran, the second half of the Quran, primarily, you will find, uh, you will find, not violence, but you won't find peace, but it certainly is not violent. The violent verses all come in the Medina surahs when he moved then to Medina in 622, and especially in 624. In 624, when the Jews refused to accept him, and that relationship with the Jews broke down in Medina, he then started turning against them. And from 624, you have the Battle of Badr. In 625, you have the Battle of Uhud. And in 627, you have the Battle of the Trenches, the three major battles that started the theocracy. And the theocratic model then began with Muhammad. And what he did is he started becoming more and more violent. And as he went on, of course, those who stood against him, like the Jews, not first of all, he threw them out of, the, out of Medina for the first two tri uh, families, the Banu Kainuka family, the Banu Nadir family. But by 627, the last remaining Jewish family, after the Battle of the Trenches, which he didn't win or lose, he came back angered that the Jews did not support him, and he confronted them. And finally, after 21 days of confronting the, this Jewish tribe, last remaining Jewish tribe in Medina, he took all 800 men and slit their throats in one afternoon, took the women as concubines for his men and the children as slaves. Now that means within five years of Muhammad moving to Medina, which was not his city, the Jews had been there long beforehand. Within five years, he had eradicated all the Jews there in Medina. We call that genocide. Now, now tell me, is that, uh, uh, that the action of a peaceful man? More than that, anybody that stood against him, he assassinated. We know of 25 people that he had killed for those who stood against him, sometimes only for writing poetic verse against him. And we know that he was involved in 29 battle campaigns between 624 and 632 when he died. The last eight years of his life, he was involved in 29 battle campaigns and planned another 39 on top of that. Does that sound like a man of peace? Take a look at Jesus. Did Jesus ever use the sword? Did he ever get involved in any battle camp? Did he ever have anybody killed? Did he ever have anybody assassinated? Did he ever throw anybody out? Oh, I love Jesus. He's so easy to come back on. He, did, he basically wins all my debates for me. That's why if you talk about peace, come on back to Jesus. He's so easy to defend.